Greater Clark County Schools has been very fortunate this year to be able to open college and career centers at our high school in great part to a generous donation from Metro United Way. Through the grant from the United Way, we are able to open our college and career centers. Our goal for the college and career centers is to have 100% of our students in visiting with college reps so that they can get information from those representatives for scholarships and admission. We also would like for our students to visit business and industry so that they are college and career ready. We have representatives from many of our local colleges and universities into our centers on a regular basis. Um, we do a diverse group of career and professional people. Uh, we're trying to provide our students opportunities to talk to people from uh, all across the business community. All of these services put our students on the pathway to success. But none of this would have been possible without the generous donation from Metro United Way. They provided us a grant of $20,000 to get our college and career centers up and running to provide these great opportunities for our students. Communities and Schools does anything that we can possibly do and to enable a child to be successful in school. We've provided alarm clocks, backpacks, visits to the doctor. We, of course, provide such things as the therapist in the elementary schools. We provide mentoring programs such as 321 Read, which works with first, second, and third grade children, vision screenings for all first graders in the county. Um, and even during those breaks, like fall break and spring break, we serve the children by having all day care. And the money that we earn from the daycare setting, extended day, goes right back into the school system in order to pay for such things as resource coordinators and the therapist and any other services that are necessary to come up with. So we take what we're given and give it right back. Um, these are just a few of those services, but basically we get a call and we sit down and say, what can we do to help that child or that class or that school to be more successful? We work uh, very hand in hand with Metro United Way. And so Metro United Way took me and communities and schools under wing, and then within 10 years, we were a full-blown agency of Metro United Way, in which they not only support us monetarily, but they continue their constant support in evaluation and uh, recommendations, and probably setting up criteria so that we can continue to be an excellent nonprofit. The Boys and Girls Club of Kentucky and the Metro United Way makes such a great team. It's because we have the same exact goals and what it is we want to do with the kids. Without the money from the Metro United Way, um, we would have a very difficult time running quality programs here and um, doing it exactly what it is we want to do for these children as far as setting them on the right path and making sure that all their needs are set. For those I will be mad. If we have a Boys and Girls Club, we'll be honest. Half the kids here will be like on the streets, on outside, the streets yeah. outside or doing something they're not supposed to do. Some of the same goals we as the Boys and Girls Club of Kentucky and I share with the Metro United Way is preparing our kids for um, after high school and that's college or work or life in general as it may be. One of the ways we accomplish this goal is providing a safe environment for these kids. Um, safety is huge as in regards to keeping their focus and attention on education and making sure that we you know, continually keep them and prepare them for um, life once they leave high school. A couple of our character and leadership programs that we do are Keystone and Torch Club. Um, basically these kids come together and come up with ideas that they want to do within their community to help out the community. I'm part of the Torch Club and we like help out with the community and do things for our community. We did a, yeah, we did a food can drive. They also help clean the Haven House. Mm -hmm. Yep, we help clean the Haven House. I'm part of this um, program we call Keystone. It's basically kind of like Torch Club. You do a community work, you do a fundraiser to raise money to go on a field trip. Well, we usually pick our field trip first because then we, it kind of goes and ties in with like what we think the best community project would do best for it and like fundraiser, which one we think would we do better on getting to go on that field trip. Because if you set a goal, 
you're gonna strive to reach for it. We also have a couple of like Porch Club and Keystone are like the same thing, it's just different age groups. Yeah, so yeah, you right? have Passport to Manhood, you have Money Smart Matters, girls. Smart Girls, it, you have they have book clubs for the little ones and we do drama clubs sometimes for the little ones. Puppet clubs. Puppet clubs and there's just a whole bunch of talent different show. programs. Talent yeah, talent we have talent, talent, talent shows. shows. One of the great things about having the Boys and Girls Club in Jeffersonville is it's location based for um, the kids and where they live. Because it's so it's close awesome. and it's like in a neighborhood, everybody lives. Everyone, yeah, basically we all meet up at the same time and just walk all over here together. Some like people, I'm always meeting up with y'all when y'all be coming. Coming and we all, we basically, at nighttime, we basically all walk, walk each other home. I usually, if they're, I see like the little kids walking by themselves, I usually walk with them to their house. So oftentimes they're able to travel with their friends or with their family over to the club and still get to experience within the club their friends and their families and it kind of creates that environment of just always continually being together and experiencing the great things that we have here at the club.